beautiful day to ride your motorcycle. Good morning again, folks. Had a rainstorm coming through here about an hour ago. So a little bit of a wet wet roads on the way to work today. But I don't believe there's any rain in the air now. Decided to take the little dart fly screen off the front of the bike for a little while. I kind of go back and forth on that thing. Haven't been doing a lot of long distance lately and to be honest with you, uh, I mean it's like 5% effective on wind. It's, it's so little and the bike is so open already. Um, the amount of difference it makes holding the air off your chest. It, it's hard to know how much of that's real and how much of that's in your head. But um, I think the biggest impact on that dart fly screen is the look. It does change the look of your bike. Makes it a little less vintage looking, a little less old fashioned, uh, a little bit less 50s, 60s standard motorcycle and a little bit more sporty, a little bit more tuck and go. So it's off for now. Just something different. So we're gonna hop on the old Sawgrass Expressway here. This Sawgrass Expressway here, this uh, little highway around the western edge of the county, was built 1987, maybe 1988, and I got here a couple years after. It was still brand new, and man, nobody used it. It was like it was like being on a highway for yourself. They were definitely thinking ahead when they put this in because it's definitely because people definitely use it now. But I remember many a morning hopping on this thing and being the only guy I could see forward and backward all the way to the horizon in the early 90s. And now it's uh, overcrowded. I think it's beyond capacity, to be honest with you. They've just built up so many residences in northwest Broward County now. So one thing I've been doing to keep myself entertained lately is uh, looking at Google Maps and asking them for advice on the route. Uh, as you guys know, Google owns Waze, and I believe that they've incorporated Waze user traffic data into Google Maps now. The traffic layer pulls information from a variety of sources, including, I think, the Waze user info. So I've just been letting Google suggest which way to go to work, and interestingly, it's different every day. It's um, recommended the highway today, yesterday, it said just go down the surface streets all the way down Knob Hill Road to Sunrise, and uh, actually last week on Wednesday morning it actually said take University all the way, which is a very crowded, uh, commercial, busy, jam-packed road, and you know, the Googles knew that there was no school that day. So the corners where there's a couple of schools were not packed up with people dropping off their kids. It's actually a nice ride. I was surprised. I was very tempted to just ignore it when it said university. I was like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. But I listened. And it was right. It was right, and I was roo roo. I said, I was roo roo roo. There's your Everglades. these overpasses and you get a nice peek out into the western reaches of Broward County out into the Everglades, the river of grass. So backups like these are common. These are now just the backups as you approach the next interchange where people are joining. And uh, used to be you wouldn't see a backup like this unless there was an accident or a wreck or something. That's probably not the case. This is normal now about a mile or so before the next intersection it just slinkies down like this. 
be a series of compressions and expansions of the traffic all the way up to the next interchange. And then it'll start over again. But I'm not accusing Google of anything because it is moving so far. Just recently passed the 19,000 mile mark on the bike here. It says 19,131 right now. So 20,000 miles is a big service interval. So I'm going to have some work on the bike and uh, try to do most of it myself with my buddy Alan who has volunteered to guide me on things. Probably change the brake pads. Going to replace the brake fluid. Obviously oil and filter. There's a nice list in the manual of things to be done. And uh, nothing on the list that I can't do. So I'll try to make some videos when we do those tasks over the next, yeah, probably over the next few months. There's doesn't have to happen right as the odometer rolls over to 20,000, does it? One weekend we'll do the brakes, one weekend we'll do something else. Change the headlight fluid, grease the muffler bearings. What a nice, beautiful day. Despite these traffic slowdowns, it is gorgeous out today. What a shame to spend it at work.